What's up everybody, it's Sean here back today to give you guys a review of the Off-White collaboration with Nike on the Dunk Low Lot 1 as part of the Dear Summer Collection. Today's video is sponsored by Hefalux. Hefalux is my favorite go-to sneaker insoles and they're ETPU insoles which means you're essentially feeling the feeling of boost within your shoes which definitely makes your shoes feel that much more comfortable. So I've been a paying customer in the past so when Hefalux approached me to sponsor my videos that was an easy yes. So right now they offer four different insole options. So depending on the type of cushioning and thickness of insole you want, you'll have something for every preference. And I personally love to throw on a Heflux insole into some of my more retro shoes, maybe ones that don't necessarily have that much cushioning on them, and they make them feel much more enjoyable to wear throughout the day. So be sure to check out that link down below and use code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. So the Dear Summer Collection is a collaboration between Nike and Off-White consisting of 50 different dunk lows, of which 48 of them are pretty similar in that they're mostly white and gray color based. But then Lot 1, this one is predominantly white and Lot 50 is predominantly black. So Lot 1 and Lot 50 were released through an Instagram raffle earlier on in August, whereas the remaining pairs were released through the Nike Sneakers app. And the interesting thing about this release is other than Lot 1 and 50, when you get a pair through sneakers, you actually don't know what pair you're getting, and Nike sends you a random color that you don't know what it is until you actually open up your box. So this pair released for a price of 180 US dollars, and as far as I know, none of the off-white dunks released here in Canada. The official colorway for this one is white, metallic silver, and butter. And I gotta say lot one is probably my favorite out of all the 50 pairs. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. So this comes in this cardboard box, which looks like it's been deconstructed. So on the top, we have the Nike swoosh, which looks like it's been hand drawn. And then we have these circular cutouts throughout the entire box. And the edges of the box looks like it's been taped up, but this is just the graphic that's been glued onto the cardboard. And then taking off the lid, we have the signature deep yellow colored off-white branded paper. So diving into the details of the shoe, for the most part, the silhouette is your classic Nike Dunk Low silhouette. So the base layer here, this is constructed out of this white colored canvas, and we have this perforated look on the toe box, which is common across all your Nike Dunks. One thing to note is for this 50 pair collection, the materials used vary between canvas, leather, and hairy suede. So in this case, surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, we have this very shiny but very soft white colored leather. This leather feels like it's a very high quality cut of leather, and it runs up the center of the shoe covering the eyelids. Beneath this on the quarter panel of both sides of the shoe, we have more of that white colored canvas, and then overlaid on top, we have your Nike swoosh which is constructed out of this crinkled metallic silver finish. Moving downwards, so we have more of that soft leather which wraps around the bottom of the back of the shoe. We have this code which is done in the silver finish, and it reads FA21565-9470. On the edge of the swoosh, just like all your other off-white Nikes, we have this rectangular tab which is done in this red color. And then next to this, we have more of that canvas which wraps around the middle portion of the back heel. At the very top, we have more of that white leather, along with Nike branding printed across in this red colored finish. On the medial side, true to the off-white classic look, we have this text which is printed across and is done in this shiny metallic silver finish. For the laces, so to my surprise, they don't actually come with any extra laces. However, just like all your other off-white dunks, they come dual laced. So the main normal lace is done in your plain flat white colored finish. But of course we have shoelaces in quotations printed on and black on the edges. The secondary pair of lace which overlaps on top, this is a rope style lace. And they intertwine through these fly wire cables which are done in these turquoise or teal finish. So they zigzag across the body of the shoe and they're dipped in this cream colored finish on the edges. And we also have shoelaces branding printed on in black. Underneath the laces, the tongue is covered in this white colored canvas, and as you can see, the left foot and the right foot, they feature these circular cutouts, but they differ from left foot to right. On the edge, we have this vintage looking tag with Nike branding, and you'll see that the outer edges of the tongue are exposed, revealing the yellow colored foam found within. The interior side of the tongue is lined in this white colored leather, which also feels very soft to the touch, and also the inner liner of the shoe itself is also lined in leather. For the insoles, these come with their standard foam line insole. It's covered in this white colored finish on the top, and we have off-white and Nike co-branding stamped on in this cream colored finish. So the upper of these off-white dunks sits atop this rubber cup sole, which is done in this yellowed or butter looking color. On the lateral side of the back heel, on the midsole, we have this rubber tag or badge, which states the model number of this shoe. And in this case, this is lot one of 50. 
turning the shoe over to the bottom so the outsole here matches the color of the midsole. So this is done in that butter or yellowed colored rubber. This is your classic dunk outsole, so we have the circular traction pattern on the forefoot, along with Nike branding in the center. So for those wondering how these fit, so these fit the same to me as most of my Nike dunks. So for me, I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me well in a slightly snug way. So I feel like if you have narrow, normal, or slightly wide feet, true to size should be perfectly fine. But if you have really wide feet, you might want to consider going up a half size. I can feel a little bit of pinching from width perspective right here. So that's just something to keep in mind if you have wider feet. Moving on to comfort. So these feel exactly the same as all my other dunks. So with that said, for casual use, it's gonna feel perfectly fine. It's not the softest shoe out there and it's not gonna be the most comfortable. But if you're just walking around in them and just for everyday casual use, they're gonna be okay. And I do have to add the materials used, especially the leather. This felt very soft and very broken in already straight out of the box. So that definitely helped from a comfort standpoint. And finally, from an overall quality of materials and craftsmanship standpoint, overall, I gotta say this was pretty impressive. I felt like the material quality on this shoe was top notch. It felt like it was a very premium product. And it definitely didn't have that plastic feel that a lot of dunks that I've been releasing this year have. And from an overall build and craftsmanship standpoint, all in all, no major issues on my pair. So I gotta say overall, I was pretty impressed. With all that out of the way now, let's lace up these Lot 01 Off-White Nike Dunks and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, like I said in the beginning, this lot one is my favorite of all 50. While two to 49, there's definitely some highlights within it. I really like this one because it really stands out on its own because it's predominantly white based and the boldness of this butter looking midsole really complements the simplicity of the upper very well. However, given that lot one and 50, at least what it seems like, have been the most limited ones so far, if you are looking to pick up a pair from this 50 collection, you might wanna pass on this given the high resale price and just settle for something within two to 49. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this lot one Nike Off-White Dunk Low. Of all the 50 in the collection, what are your top three or five colorways? For me, I really like lot one. I think 49 caught my eye as well, as well as maybe I think it was 11 and 12. But really a lot of them are so similar to one another, you honestly can't really go wrong with any. And it seems like Nike has been dishing out a lot of W's to a lot of people's sneaker apps so far. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca You can check out my podcast called the Channel 8 Podcast. So the video version is hosted right here on my YouTube channel, but if you're looking for just the audio only version, check it out on most of your major podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Podbean. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the continued love and support. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.